I am getting ready to go to the Friday Bazaar. And so I'm gonna take you along with me. Well, before I get out the door, I'm gonna make sure I have my sunglasses because it's like a 15 minute walk. My wallet, a mask, water, my kid, and diapers and wipes. Oh, and my reusable bags for produce. That's pretty much all I need for this outing. I just thought this would be an interesting thing for you guys to come along with me and observe how and why and what I do for shopping for a family of five, currently six, with someone living with us in Turkey. So, it is super hot in Antalya, super hot today. People ask a lot about how I do food, just grocery shopping in general. And I wish I could say I have this really rigid routine, but I don't. I change it up all the time. Depends on my capacity for the week, my mood, whether I can handle the, the language barrier, the, just the little things that make um, something simple feel hard. Sometimes that's just the reality that little things can feel hard. But today I feel good and it's a really pretty day out. So I'm going to take advantage and probably just stock up on some fruit and vegetables and nuts and raisins for the week. I went through a phase of just loving the bazaar when we first moved here because it's just so beautiful and all the people are so nice and it just feels exotic and kind of romantic to buy all your food at like this fresh market and I loved it so much. Then I got pregnant and some culture shock started to set in and there was a, a short season where you couldn't have paid me to go to the bazaar. It was so stressful but I feel like that phase is gone and now I'm at a new season and it's fun again. So here we go. It smells like doughboys. If you're from Silverton, Oregon and you're watching this, it's really making me feel homesick. <laughs> the absolute best. I love to make my own almond butter, so I'm definitely going to load up on almonds. See, about them, yarum kilo of aluminum. Come on. Pochettin bar. Teşekkürler. Senin pochettin varsa tamam, biz... Kardeş. Hadi. Kaç tane var? Bu adı ne? Fred yemiş. Ama güzel, süper. Süper. Çok heyecanlıyım. Dört tane yeterli. Bak göstereyim ben. Bak. Elinle tutma. Okey, tamam. Bak, kestik. Küçük çizgi. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Alright, doing a taste test right here. 
from the top of a cactus. It tastes like a persimmon, if you know what a persimmon tastes like. It's pretty good. Abba, do you want some? Can you try it? It's Abba approved. Okay, getting three sea bass. All right, that's a wrap. We got what we needed and a little extra just for fun. And now I'm gonna start this hot sweaty walk back home. Eva's got her banana. Cheese. So hot and sweaty. <laughs> I'm gonna go change out of my sweaty clothes and show you what I got. I feel so much better changing my clothes. It was so sweaty. Um, all right, so I'm gonna show you what we got. Eva's just hanging out here, still in the stroller. I have everything out on the table. Got some spinach. That cactus fruit. I forget what it's called. Bananas. Pears. Some red peppers. Lettuce. Mushrooms. Some basil. Lots of figs and the dates, almonds, and walnuts. Daddy! Daddy's home. Just got home. What's that? Doing a vlog. What's up? <laughs> I'm just gonna prep this fish. And all I'm gonna do is rinse it off, put some olive oil, salt, pepper, a little bit of herbs, bake it in the oven for a few minutes on high heat. It's gonna be perfect. our fridge where we display the most recent artwork from the kids. Echo's school chart. She gets a sticker every day she goes. <laughs> and True's reading chart. She's learning how to read English. Okay. Just grabbing the lettuce. Making a salad is actually like the thing I love to eat but hate to make because you have to individually wash each leaf and on a busy day I just don't want to take the time to wash each leaf individually and cut it up and spin it and wash it and do all the works but like I said today feels pretty good and I feel like I have the grace for it so I'm gonna make a really good salad to go with this fish
Normally I think goat cheese would be really good with this salad, but I'm gonna, just gonna use what I have, which is this Bea's Paneer, and it's kind of like feta. Going in for my favorite sourdough. This is an olive sourdough. Just gonna make some bread, some toast to go alongside this Hello. meal. Fun fact, we do not have a toaster or a microwave or a dryer, which dryers just don't really exist here. Like not American dryers. So we've learned to live without and we could get a toaster or a microwave. We've just um, adjusted and haven't felt the need. So you just have to heat everything on the stove. So Mom, it does take a little bit more effort, but I heard it's healthier. So we're just rolling Mom, with that. <laughs> yeah. Mama, can I tell them something? Yeah. I am, after I finish my chart, I'm gonna get a toy. That's right. of my labor is done. I'm gonna dig into my salad and enjoy this fish on this beautiful, warm, Mediterranean summer day. Thanks for watching. So good. Yes, always have a bone plate to put your bones on when you eat fish and turkey. Don't forget. Okay, I just washed off this fish and they filleted it for me. Ah! No! What? This? No. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs>